Uh, TCU is here, and we'll get started momentarily. All right, we will begin with a co opening statement from a Coach, and then we will go to questions. Yeah, um, obviously, uh, it's hard to end uh, like this, a uh, disappointing loss. Uh, as I told our guys, though, um, uh, especially these two guys here that have been here and uh, been to the tournament three times in a row, and can't thank them enough. So proud of them. And, and I spoke to our guys uh, after the game about uh, the type of kids we've had, which I've been saying all along. We have really good people. Good uh, character, high character guys. Um, and I know it's probably not what they wanted to hear after tonight's loss, but ultimately that's the most important thing. Uh, love every one of them. They are uh, represent our school so well, and um, they're just good people. And 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 that's that's the most important thing. Um, tonight just wasn't our night. Uh, we got off to a good start, but still didn't feel like we were doing what we needed to do defensively. And uh, as it went on, they just continued to get layups, continued to ex out execute us. And uh, simply put, we were uh, uh, outplayed. Um, we did out rebound them by 11. We got 21 offensive rebounds again. We just are not finishing with those as well as we need to. And it's been kind of a problem of ours. But uh, simply put, we were outplayed again. And uh, um, I'm, I'm disappointed for our guys, uh, but proud of them at the same time. So uh, we got a good group. Questions, please. Raise your hand right here. Steven Johnson, Fort Worth Star Telegram. Uh, question for Jamie. I know before the tournament you felt pretty confident you guys had kind of turned the corner defensively. Was this, the performance on defense surprising, or I guess how did you evaluate that? Uh, well, I also recognize that this was a very good offensive team that they were, we were going against. and. Um, I thought we had made some uh, improvements in areas that I thought could help us uh, against them, but then they had some other guys that stepped up and they hit some shots. I mean, you know, they missed, made every free throw. Um, they uh, hit some threes at the end of the clock. Um, probably should have gone zone a little bit more, but they hit the three against the zone end of clock. Um, but, um, you know, too many turnovers. Our, our turnovers led to baskets. It's been a problem of ours all year long. Um, and some of our shot selection leads to baskets too. So, yes, I felt like it, and I don't know if I was, uh, I was hoping as much as uh, felt it, but I think we were better. Obviously, Ernest makes us better defensively, so having him back, I think, was part of that thinking, uh, Stephen. Um, and uh, uh, we had some guys take some steps forward defensively, but uh, they just, they just out uh, execute us. And uh, and uh, and from different guys, give them, give them credit. It wasn't you know it wasn't um, you know jo obviously Johnson you know twenty nineteen. I mean Martin Martinez three for seven hit some end of clock shots and they make every free throw fourteen for fifteen. Um, I'm a little surprised. I thought we didn't come up with loose balls maybe in the first half that they got some layups out of on some things underneath the basket that hurt us. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they, there's no other way to put it. They simply uh, out, out executed us and uh, killed us in the paint. I mean, uh, 46 points to 20, 26 is pretty much says what it is. Questions, please? Right here. A uh, question for E Man. You guys cut it to two, I think, right out of halftime. Then they kind of went up. Well, like, when they went on the run, from your perspective, what do you just think happened at that point after you guys cut it to two? Emmanuel? Um, you know, credit to Utah State. Um, they're in this tournament for a reason. Uh, great coach, great program, great culture. Uh, you know, they competed. Um, we went on a run, and, and they did a good job responding. You know, uh, you got to hang your head high. You know, you battle, you compete. But you also have to give the other team credit. You know, they came out here, they executed, and, and they fought. You know, we cut the, the lead down to two. We want to build that momentum. We want to build off that momentum. Uh, but, but they responded. And, and those responses where we need stops. But 
time and time again, they, they responded and responded. So just good credit to, to Utah. Right here. Barry Lewis with Killer Frogs. Jacoby, you had a team high 19 points. Most of that came in the second half. What were you thinking and what, were you just thinking it was on your back to, to get back in the game? Jacoby? Um, <clears throat> no, nah, I mean, honestly, uh, just, you know, taking the shots I always take. Um, you know, some went in, some, went in, some didn't. Um, but it was more just trying to, um, I guess, give a little bit more push on the offensive end. But, you know, that really didn't matter today because uh, we couldn't get no stops. Um, but, you know, I, I'm going to shoot the shots that I, you know, I'm comfortable with and I'm confident in. And, you know, I thought coach did a pretty good job of <clears throat> calling some plays for me, giving me some good looks. And, um, you know, a lot of them look good. So, um, you know, I think that's what that's what happened today. Right here. Yeah, man, I know this loss was tough, but how do you hope this group, you know, some, I know some guys can come back, some guys are done at TCU. How do you hope this group will be remembered in terms of their legacy? Emmanuel? Um, you know, what we, what we started here is, is special and what we're leaving behind is special. Um, the, the freshmen, uh, the guys coming in, I know the program's going to be in good hands. My fault, bro. Yeah. It's going to be in good hands. Um, we got a lot of young guys that are, you know, coming in that are, you know, hungry, you know, fight hard. Um, thought, thought the last three or four years we've done a good job of just, you know, executing and, um, you know, believing in the system. Um, we're just a few, you know, a few steps away from being a, a really elite program. So, um, you know, I, I'm proud of the guys that I came with, I came in with. I love them. Um, you know, I'll go to go to battle any of them, and um, but the program's gonna be in good hands. So, um, you know, that's that's all I gotta say. That was Jacoby. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> any more questions, please? We do have a Zoom question. Okay. Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Coach, you decided to come to TCU eight seasons, eight years ago. Just reflecting on that time, I know this is a tough moment in it, but the guys that you've had, the guys that you have on the team this season, just what being back at home at TCU has meant to you and the positives that you can take from the gentleman that you coach. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, um, thank you for recognizing that. We, we you know, obviously, uh, you know, have set all kinds of records, different things, and, and um, these guys have, have been a big part of it. Uh, these two guys here, especially right next to us, and um, uh, you know, it's kind of not the best time to be uh, thinking about it. Just, um, but I guess that kind of reflects what we've gone. This wasn't good enough, and you know, eight years ago it would have been, you know, a miracle. It was a miracle when we got in. It's kind of it had been done since I guess I had played. So, um, so that kind of reflects it. We just don't. We didn't, right now. We just feel like we could have done more. Um, we our goals were were, were bigger, um, and that comes with what we've done in the last uh, uh, in the eight years have been here. So I just uh, I guess I'm really more on uh, tonight. I'm, I'm thinking about as I've said after the game that uh, about these guys, what they've done, how they've handled themselves. They're they're tremendous kids. They get along so well. They're around together. They hang out together. They do things together, and. Um, I wanted for them to just have a special ride in this thing, and you know we didn't get it done. We weren't even close to uh, what we needed to do, and they know it. Um, we knew we had to defend a very good offensive team. We didn't, so I think there's a. They recognize it. I, I, I want to make sure that they did, and and uh, it's probably not the best time, but they they've done some amazing things, and um, you know I, I there was what I don't. Know, three NCAA tournaments, only like 12 have done that or something, and one game's in it, so in the country. And, you know, it's obviously a, a big step for us in the right direction. So, and these guys are responsible for it, Jacoby and uh, E-Man. You have a question right here? Last question right here. Hi, um, I'm Sarah Smith with TCU 360. Um, Emmanuel Miller, it's clear that you've 
are a leader on this team. You've been a veteran. And I know as an emotional night didn't end the way we wanted, but your accomplishments this season have not gone unnoticed. You have over 20 games with double digits, night being one of those. You have nine with 20 or more points. You know, you're a top scorer in the Big 12, named AP All Big 12 team. To kind of end with all those accomplishments, what does this season mean to you? Um, everything. You know, this this season means everything. And and not only this season, but my time at TCU. Um, cherish for the rest of my life. Never forget it. Something I'm gonna tell my kids one day, you know. Um, I'm just so blessed. I've had an opportunity to to play here at TCU. The the community means everything to me. This program means a lot to me. I'm just happy I got to be here. Thanks, Manuel, and thank you, TCU. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys want your you want your name you want your name thing?